Okay, so we're currently in Spring Creek Park and here we have all the cross country teams from different schools and of course ours. And um, everybody, they're just setting up real quick. Um, the coaches are having a like, meeting somewhere over there. And so we're just gonna wait until um, we start the races. Good. It's good. I, mean, I love running a lot, so that's why I did cross country. Yeah, it hurt. So yeah. Is it kind of like a struggle being cross country? Uh, yes. Sometimes, yes. Yes. Um, it's longer running, and it's usually when you. Usually, you run for a very long time. You get tired to where you can't not feel, you can't feel nothing in your body, and you're just really, it's really tiring. Oh. Did you make the finish line behind you? Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 Hold my cup.
and the freshman boys only race. How do you feel right now? Uh, tired. Uh, I feel great. I got, I got like a minute and a half shaved off of my last time. It was my best time of the season. And I'm glad it was the districts, because districts the only race that matters. I'm, I'm so I feel good. Uh, kinda, yeah. I think it, I kind of wanted to get in a better place, but my time was really good. So yeah, I think I had a great place for what I did, and yeah. Well, it, it was a really hard race. The course was actually very difficult. The hills were really killer, and. I mean, I just kept pushing, I kept thinking about my teammates, and I didn't want to stop, and whenever I wanted to stop, I would just think, like, don't give up on them, like, I've trained all year for this, and it was, it was a good race, though, I think we did good. In fifth place, Daniel Sauceda from Langham Creek. It's, I guess it's like natural for all of us to have a little competitive 
<laughs> challenge in between all of us. Yeah. yeah, it's not always serious, it's just more like natural feeling like easier. Then sometimes it's just serious. Yeah. It's <laughs> sometimes I think we're more competitive with each other, like during practice sometimes than like in, in the, the meets. Meet. Kind of annoying. Like when we do build ups, it's like someone's always just going all out. And I mean that's how we all make each other better. I think there's unspoken competition. Yeah, our chemistry is pretty good, I think. Yeah, very good. I feel like we've grown like closer together. Yeah. Compared to like the beginning of the summer when we were like, eh, you know, not very close to each other. But as the season went through and like a lot of past dinners and a lot of fooling around meets and other stuff, we've grown closer together. And I feel starting to feel like we're family. The girls are the girls team is like our family, just like we're all they like the sister. Yeah, they like our annoyances. Well as a senior, it's my last year and all these guys are juniors and a sophomore and freshman. a freshman and a sophomore. So I just want them to continue to run, build each other up and pave the way for incoming freshmen and sophomores every year so we can not just so it's not another 10 years before we go to region, we can keep building and building and win after win. Yeah, I think what I would like for the program to become is bigger and more people involved in it. It's not just running, it's not just going, doing workouts and stuff. It's, I think it's a little bit more than that. I, think. I don't think a lot of people realize what it is. It's not something easy. We don't just get up at 5 o'clock in the morning every day to run however many miles that we do that day just for fun. It's, it's part of what we do and it's not something... It's a lifestyle. They don't like waking up early and coming to meets, but they know the sacrifice. They know it's something that we love and support. As of right now, a little bit over a thousand miles. So take David's and minus two hundred for us. From <laughs> <laughs> so eight hundred miles and a thousand miles. Yeah. Since like the beginning of what? April, March? June. No, April, May. Oh, April. 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 Yeah. Okay. Win districts and make it a state for sure. Keep the regional streak going. Yeah. yeah. They're hoping to come out strong. I want to leave in high school saying that we went to regionals three years in a row and that was one of the districts. That would be great. That would be great. That would be cool. We're going to make legacy and they hopefully will make this year stay for VR or other next year. Thank you. All right, thank you. Great. What's one plus one? Two. Eleven. Scholars say two. <laughs> <laughs>